Do we know beans about beans? Hope so. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. I love beans, and I'm not just saying that. Beans have already changed my life. I'm so excited about being able to taste multiple different types of beans. And you know what? Beans are the future, people. That's all you're going to be eating 100 years from now. Bean paste and bean powder and whole beans, if you're lucky, and not being attacked by some alien civilization. Bean curd. But today we're gonna figure out just how good we are at tasting beans that we've never tasted. Cause you're gonna need to be able to identify said beans. Key. It's time for us to play Bean Beans, they're good for your heart. So many kinds, can we tell them apart? Okay, here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna be presented with six different types of beans. There'll be a lightly salted, cooked, version of the beans and then a dried version just for looking at. So we gotta see if we can identify the Scarlet Runner. The Flor de Mayo. The Bird Egg. The Christmas Lima. The Adzuki. And the Calypso. All right. Now we have a little bit of information about these that we're gonna be going on because we haven't had these beans before but this is just who has more bean intuition. Me, you, oh, us, I don't know. We. We're gonna find out. Round one. Okay, Link, here's the first bean. Hmm, right there. Now, you're not much of a bean man. Let's just let's just get that out of the way. I mean, you started off life hating beans, but you've right. slowly grown to like them or love them? I like them, black right? beans, I like garden peas. Are those beans at all? Those are like Oreo beans down there, uncooked. You taste it? Hmm, mm. it's got a tanginess to it. It's definitely a bean. I'll tell you that right now. Hmm. I could have tasted this one blindfolded and known it was a bean. Wait, this is not, is it a bean or not? You have to get <laughs> a little be more a, specific You know what, that. let's play that game. Is it a bean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Something tells me that things would have turned out differently if we played games like that. Very hmm. distinctive. I mean, it's a good bean, but I don't know what kind of uh, bean parsing t like taste skills that I right. personally have. I'm just gonna go with the fact that it's a m mostly black bean, and the only black beans I've ever had were in Mexican restaurants, so um, I'm looking at the Flor de Mayo, which is a small bush bean native to Mexico. Oh, it does, it tastes like it could be from a bush. It got the most outstanding bean in the blindfold bean taste test. I taste so, yeah. And I'm just going for it. Well, and I'm gonna go with bird egg, because one of the beans is a bird egg, and I've seen plenty of bird eggs that are spotted like that. Ooh, that's a good guess, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a robin's egg bean? Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, 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 yeah. I went with the bird egg, hopefully I'm right. Let's mm. keep going. Round two. Mm, now we got some brown beans up here. Uh, is this a bean? It is a bean, I believe. Bean leaf. It is a bean. All right, now this is getting closer to the type of beans that I don't love. Oh. But it's a very meaty bean. It's like eating the turds of a meat animal. An animal that just poops meat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like uh -huh. a meat eating animal. Mm -hmm. It's like eating the tur turds of a carnivore. <laughs> yeah, that's how beans are made, right? Yeah. I mean, I've made. I've made some turds that look like beans. I didn't then taste them. It's, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> it's so hard, it's, they're so, it's hearty. Mm -hmm. This is a hearty bean. This is like a mm. bean that I would pick out of chili. Well, I, well, you know, I was gonna go with the Scarlet Runner because this one said it was great for like baked bean dishes and it kind of feels like it's mm. that size. But so does the Calypso, but the, Scarlet, the classic well, chili but bean. But the problem is the Scarlet Runner, it says it was it's one of the best bean, and this is not the best bean. To you? I feel like the Calypso is the proper guess on this one. Does that taste like a potato Potato to you? flavor? Yeah, m a meaty potato. Like if a carnivore crapped out a potato, that's what it would taste like. That does happen. Well, you know, Calypso. When, when carnivores eat potatoes, they just crap them right out. Because they're like, what? What? why is this in my system right now? So we in, we're in agreement, and how certain are we that we are both correct? Um, two percent. Round three. This is a large bean. Ooh. I'm not even. Gonna, it looks like if you just went to like a brook and you just grab the rocks Pebbles. off the bottom. There's no Look need for that. a spoon here. This is like a organ from like a uh, like an animal. What's it called when you cut open an animal for science? Dissect. Yeah, man. This is like if you. Yeah, man. Dissect, man. <laughs> it's like if you dissected a bird oh. and pulled out its oh. kidney. It would be like this. Is this a bean or a bird kidney? We have a bird. Egg. Well, bird egg. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a bird kidney. <laughs> Do we have one that looks like a, a bowl of dead wet bugs? Dude, I love these. This, I'm on my like seventh, eighth, and ninth bean right here. Well, all at the same time. Now, question for you though. What was it about beans when you were growing up that you, why were you scared of them? Because they, well, because they look like bugs. They were mushy inside. And then what changed you? Uh, I think refried beans. And then yeah. I was like, what if they weren't re, they were just fried. Yeah. And then what if they weren't fried, they were just boiled. Beans. 
Yeah. So I kind of back. Refry beans is beep, the gateway beep, bean. Beans, beans, beans into it. That's well, how I got into it. I'm going to go on this one. I feel pretty strong that these are Christmas limas because it's a big bean. They're it's shaped a meaty, like a lima. meaty texture. And it was first cultivated in the U.S. around 1840. And this has like an 1840s kind of taste to it, don't you think? You know, I think you're right. I'm agreeing with you because lima beans are nasty. They're like what I would call butter beans yeah. in the South. Uh, I just can't stop so eating them. I'm though. a green lima, and I've had enough. I might want to try one just dry. Let me try that. Hmm, that's a good idea. Is it better? Oh. <laughs> that was not a good idea. Let's see if there's something in there. I broke a tooth. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Round four. It's kind of starting to look like we are like at a booth at the farmer's market and we're asking people to sample things. Sample our beans? You sample know, our beans? You know there's a bean. There's Would a, you like to sample our beans? There's definitely bean sample guys at these farmer's markets around here. Or we could be those guys. We could beans those guys. <laughs> um, this is more my speed because they're small. Yeah, but it's still the same amount of bean. That's the thing I don't understand. I don't like a big sheath. Man, that smells like a field pea is what I call it. Yeah, it smells like a field. It does Period. smell like a field full of peas. It has a black-eyed pea. Earthiness to it. Mm. Beans, beans, good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you love them and want more of them. Fart. The more you fart, the better you feel. So eat beans at every meal. Meal. Mm. This beans are so good though. Now this is kind of red flavor, so I'm thinking some scarlet. It has a red flavor? <laughs> it, it, tastes, red. it tastes like red number five. <laughs> red color, I mean. It has a red color to it, so uh, that leads me towards scarlet. But that's tough, because it says that they produce beautiful scarlet flowers, which means they don't have to be red at all. But do the beans turn into the flowers? Mm. How, do, how do flowers work? They attract bees, which makes beans. Beans are not in the ground, right? Beans are not roots, <laughs> right? I don't, I'm, I feel stupid right now. Beans are on the plant. They're on the bush, man. But aren't beans seeds? Isn't a bean a seed to grow another thing that grows the same bean, right? Isn't, I, I, isn't a bean a seed? A bean is an edible seed. It's t typically kidney shaped. It does uh, It grows in long pods on certain leguminous oh, plants. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Eddie just sent you some, uh, some Google stuff. Now listen. <laughs> So that means that these could turn into a red flower because it's a red bean that might turn into a flower. Right. But so I feel like I'm it's- I'm leaning towards the Scarlet Runner for I'm me. I'm gonna go on with the Flor de Mayo on this because it tastes a little bit like mayonnaise. Not really. Um, just mm. because it's got a, it does have a smoky flavor. It does have an unusual texture. And I could see this bean winning an award for best bean, because it did. See, it says the bird egg is really aromatic. That's not aromatic, that's earthy. So, I don't know. I, Adzuki's, it's 4000 BCE. Does it smell that old? I'm bean smellers, now we're bean smellers. Would you like to smell our beans? What if we just let people smell the beans? Would you like the, to smell it, our beans? At the, uh, the farmer's market. Mm. No, you can't taste them, but you can smell them. No, no, don't make any contact. You can smell them though. I'm going with the Scarlet Runner. Red right. beans make red flowers. Well, they might. We don't know that. Round, Round five. Wow, look at that huge bean. That's the biggest bean so bigger far. Bigger than man. that one, but not as dark as that one. You know, These are amazing. You, you really looking. know your beans. It's bigger, but not as darker. Taste that bean. I that mean, bean tastes it, like coffee. Tell me, does it taste like coffee? Wow. Is it coffee? Are we now playing, is it coffee? It's a coffee bean. It's a freaking coffee bean. Wow, that's a good taste for a. I might have turned over a new leaf and found a huge bean that I liked under it. This might be the Christmas lima, but I've already used that one. You think just because it's big, it's a lima? This might be a chestnut flavor. Well, I don't have it. You're talking about Christmas lima? Hmm. I got bird egg and <laughs> well, adzuki to go. And I've got adzuki and scarlet runner. This doesn't seem like the kind of bean that would go in a baked bean dish, is what they say the scarlet runner would. I think that this could come from a big bird, man. Link, it's called a bird egg. That doesn't mean the beans come from birds. I know I that. don't think birds make beans. If they do, we should invest. <laughs> <laughs> we should give them some money to help them out a little bit. Uh, I don't care what you say. I'm saying this is a bird egg bean. It's a good bean. I mean, I haven't had one that I don't like. I'm saving the ad, oh, you're going for the adzuki? I am, just, I think I'm wrong and I'm gonna. You think you're gonna switch it uh, up? Hopefully, we can We can only switch one this time, but you know. Round, Round six. six. All right, last bean link. Mm, right here. Now, these are like I'm boiled peanuts. I'm coming back in with my utensil. I mean, that could be a peanut. But it probably is a bean. I like to get a good eight bean mouthful. I can convince myself that these are peanuts. Try to do it. Boiled peanut? Yeah. It tastes just like a boiled peanut. Have you ever had a boiled peanut? In North Carolina, they'll do that. They'll boil peanuts and then you'll eat them. 
And you'll be like, tastes like a bean. You sure that's not a bean? That is a good bean. Wow, that's a good bean. What? You know what? I'm a man who's never met a bean he didn't like. That is a good bean. I'm a man who just started liking beans. Now, I only have Adzuki to put in this thing. <laughs> I only have Adzuki. Um, I only have Scarlet Runner, but I think it might be correct. I'm told that the- uh, That's a good bean. That the Japanese, since 4000 BCE, uh, cultivated these and boiled them with sugar and made them into paste. I could see that happening with a, with a peanutty type bean, so I'm gonna vote with confidence for Adzuki. <laughs> And I have to. Yeah, right. I, but you know what? That's a good thing to do in life is when you're forced into a decision, make it with confidence. Yeah, it's like, you, you know, know what? what? I I'm, have no other choice. I am so sure that I am right about this, even though it's the only option I can choose. I'm so sure that that is the Scarlet Runner. I'm gonna eat another one of these right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we have an opportunity to make one switch. You can grab two flags and swap them with each other. You can't do any more switching than that. Uh, but first, Daniela is gonna tell us where we stand. Okay, so Link, you have zero, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. Uh. Okay, and Rhett, you have zero, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Man. You're joking. Hey, this is, maybe we shouldn't switch, I don't know. Okay, right. so I know we mm. said one switch, but. You give us a pity switch? Yeah, we'll All give right. you some more. You can, uh, Man, you get, can we'll give you two, so you, you can. Oh, really? Or, yeah. First of all, I gotta look at everything you've got. No one's right about anything. <laughs> <laughs> can so you like, believe it? So I have to switch something with something that you haven't guessed. All right, I'm gonna switch these two, Scarlet Runner and the Bird Egg. And, and I'm going uh, in here for the Christmas Lima, and I'm coming, and then, and, and so that's one switch, and then, I'm going to switch. We know we were wrong on, on this one, and I'm gonna move this one here, just cause it's close, and I have no other rationale to start guessing about, about beans. And I'm bringing the bird egg into this one, and coming out, and going, oh, you know what? You I, gotta put that one there, and brother. Yeah, you have to. So. All right, has, has anybody gotten anything right? Yes. New score, Link has two right. Yes. And <laughs> and Rhett has one. Yes! <laughs> oh, I wanted to be the genius so bad. <laughs> I'm the genius. What two did he get right? The, it doesn't matter. The Calypso and the Florida Mile. Yes, yes, of course. The Calypso and the... You're telling me that neither what? one of these is a Christmas lima bean? No, you're Christmas lima. You got it right, Christmas lima. You got oh, it right. Oh, yeah, I got it right. <laughs> All right. Merry Christmas to me. Eat your beans, people. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Catherine from Athens, Greece, and this is Athens, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. You have until Sunday night to vote for the limited edition t-shirt that you want to be made based on a quote that was said on this show. Go to the link in the description or retlink.com slash poll, and we will actually make that winning shirt. And if you're watching this later, buy the shirt. And if you're watching it too late, it's too late because it was exclusive. Ah! Take that to the Good Mythical More. We're going to play Duty Head. It's a game. This just in the Titanic was an alien spaceship. That's right. I am on location. It's sinking. The ship's sinking, and now he's under the water. But he's continuing to. He's continuing to report. Because he's, he's that committed. And now, and now I'm on the back, back of the UFO. Yes. And I'm being taken into space. Can you hear me? Please tell my aunt. I love her! Okay, alright, here we go. Come on, let's go! Come on! Yeah! 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 Yeah!